Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel here at 88 Rogers Off-Road and welcome back to our shop. We have another 4Runner compilation for you guys today. We're gonna start off with this matte black wrapped 4Runner that we did a king setup on previously with compression adjusters, camber tubular X-joint upper control arms and OME lift springs in the back. He's back today to get some new wheels and tires. We're doing the RRW RR7H full form wheels on this one in a 17 by eight and a half size with the zero offset in this matte black finish. We wrapped them up in a 285 70 17 Toyo Open Country RT tire. If you guys are new to the channel and have no idea who we are, we're a small shop out here in sunny Southern California in the city of Baldwin Park. That's about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, and if you're local to us, reach out to us anytime by phone during regular business hours, or you can always message us 24 seven by clicking on the link in the description and going to our contact form. This one's done, so let's roll this one out and let's see what we have coming up next for you here. If you're looking for a set of the Flowform RR7Hs, check out our website at 88rotorsoffroad.com. Next up, we have another returning customer. We previously installed a King setup on this one also, but this time he's back for a pen hard correction kit from I'm Keith. When a 4Runner gets lifted, or any truck for that matter, suspension components change in terms of angles. Without correcting it properly, you may have some negative effects. You can experience more body roll as your vehicle sways from side to side due to your increased pan hard bar angle. A 2 inch rear lift changes the bar's angle about 4 degrees. The axle is also pulled more toward the passenger side of the vehicle. An adjustable pan hard bar helps by centering your axle, but a pan hard correction kit like this one from I'm Keith will better help reduce the swing as it is able to keep your pan hard bar more horizontal. The idea is to get your panhard bar as parallel to the axle as possible after a lift which increases the height of the roll center of the vehicle which in turn gives you a more stable ride. Next up we have a brand new 2024 underground color 4Runner TRD Off-Road. This one's in for an iBox Stage 2R setup. We're also doing some SPC ball joint upper control arms on it to get the suspension angles back in line and to maximize the articulation of the front end. We help take out the guesswork and what to order by prepackaging kits like this on our website. We also adjust the coilovers properly and get them set up like how we set them up on the vehicles in our videos here. If you need a lift package for your vehicle, check out our website at 88rotorsoffroad.com. Our iBox Stage 2R kits like this one here can come complete with the same options as the one here so you can install them the same day you get them without needing a spring compressor. With a setup like this installed, we're able to clear some 285 70 17 tires, but the customer is not yet ready for that. He's keeping the TRD Pro wheels on here with the 265 70 17 KO2s that he came in with. Suspension work is done, wheels and tires are back on the vehicle, so we're going to bring it back down to the ground, torque all four wheels and tires down to spec, take it out for a quick test drive, and hand the keys back over to our customer. Next up, we have a Barcelona Red 4Runner that's coming in for a Bilstein 5100 setup. This package here is what we call our best bang for the buck setup. It comes complete with springs and shocks all around and the SPC ball joint upper control arms. This one will get you going, give you the height that you need, get you out on some mild off-road trails and still not break your bank. This kit comes with the Bilstein 5100 shocks all around, the Old Man Emu lift springs all around and SPC upper control arms up front. For the wheels and tires on this one, we're going with some TRD Pro SEMA wheels, 17x7 plus 4 offset with a 285-7017 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2 tire. We're going to be adding a C4 Low Pro bumper on this one with some Baja design lights and a worn winch on it. We are a stocking dealer for C4 fabrications. We do carry their Low Pro bumpers in stock on the shelf, powder coated textured black and ready to go. If you need a bumper for your vehicle, there's no need to wait months for it and then wait for powder coating. We have them on the shelf, ready to rock. 
We hope that you guys are enjoying the video so far, and if you do so, please find time to click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It makes a big difference for our video and the channel itself, and it definitely encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. Here it is, we're setting up the C4 bumper to install it. This is the Low Pro bumper, and we are adding some Morimoto XB headlights on here as well. Here's a worn VR Evo 8S winch. Since this 4Runner has TSS, Toyota Safety Sense, there's a sensor right at the grille which will interfere with the worn winch control module. To fix that, Warren makes a control module relocation kit and that's exactly what we're going to be installing to relocate it to the engine bay. C4's low pro bumper is pretty much what some may call a half bumper. It fills in and replaces the center valence area that's removed and cut out. Our tech is doing just that in preparation for the new front armor. We've also installed a 30 inch Baja Designs S8 light bar, Factor 55 Fairly Design, and also the Factor 55 Flat Link E is going on. We're also using the rope guard on it. Next up is a brand new 2024 Subaru Forester. This one's in for an Ironman 2 inch lift setup. The ATS 2-inch lift kit comes with front and rear Ironman 4x4 ATS coilovers that are pre-built for both front and rear. Subframe spacer kit is included along with a rear sway bar drop kit. For the wheels and tires on this one, we're installing a new set of RRW RR5H wheels in a 17 by 8 with a positive 28 offset in matte black. We're throwing on some 245 65 17 Toyo Open Country AT3 tires and doing some minor trimming to help with clearing. We also installed an OEM tow hitch for the customer. Next up, we have another underground color, 2024 Forerunner Tierty Off-Road. This one's also getting an iBox Stage 2R setup with SPC upper control arms. We're also doing some RRW RR7H flow form wheels that you see right here in a 17 by 8.5 size with a zero offset. We're wrapping it up in a 285-7017 Toyo Open Country RT hybrid tire. If you guys like what you see here and want to see more, make sure to check us out on Instagram. You can find us at 88 Rotors Off-Road. That's pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. We're going to roll this one out for a quick test drive. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell. That way you get alerted the next time we post another video. Until then, take care guys, and thank you again for tuning in.